Hi everyone, thanks for joining. My name is Amandeep and in this video we're going to give you a secret. A secret which can get more than 90,000 royalty fee assets on Adobe stock. So let's jump right in there. Okay, so in the last video, I spoke about um, how Adobe Stock can help you with expediting your design and how it's going to help you um, increase your creativity, increase your productivity, because you don't really have to you, you don't really have to create every single asset from scratch. Um, you can see things like photos, illustrations, vectors. There are tons and tons of uh, different ass assets that you can download and use it in your project. But I know what you're thinking that, you know, it costs some money and maybe you're starting fresh and you don't really have a lot of money to put down in your creative projects. How can you go about um, getting some free assets from Adobe Stock? And that's what we're going to find out today. So you, when you go through the menu on the top, you will see one of the sections says free. Who doesn't like free? I love free. Yeah. So let's jump right in there. And I'm going to show you the best way to find the right asset free of cost from Adobe Stock. OK, so the first thing that you do is you click on the free section here and then you will be greeted with different categories of free things. For example, you can have some free photos, free videos and whatnot. OK, so that's all good. Uh, but I'm going to give you uh, and I'm going to show you another easier and better method of finding the right asset for yourself. OK, so when you click on the free uh, section here, you're greeted with this um, search bar, which says free. Don't type in anything there. Just hit enter and you will see um, you're greeted with all the different kind of filters on the left hand side. And I can click on all asset types to begin with. And you'll see the number of assets that you've been given for free by Adobe stock where Adobe is being really generous. Uh, that's 920,171 uh, assets for free, right? So what I want you to do here is go into the left hand side and choose the right asset type. Maybe you're looking for an image, uh, a vector, and um, you know, if, if it's an image, what kind of image is it? Is that maybe you're looking for photos, maybe you're looking for illustrations, vectors, whatnot, just choose the one that you really need. Um, and then scroll down and you have all different kind of aesthetic filters to choose from. For example, you're looking for a PNG with a transparent background or you're looking for orientation in horizontal. Do you want to have uh, images with copy space so they can type in something or write something down there, right? Or do you want to include people, exclude people? You can do all different kind of searches there. Um, but what's even better if you can just type in the word, um, I mean, of course, the keyword that you're looking for, Maybe you're looking for happy child or couple dancing. You know? For example, I'm working on this um, event card, um, for instance, and I don't really like this picture and I want to change this picture uh, to something else, for instance, right? So I, I, I don't really like it. So what I want to do is I want to put a dancing couple, but I don't really want to put any money down um, to begin with because I'm starting fresh and not that big of a um, hit in the market to begin with, right? So how do I get those free assets for my project for free? Um, I can do the same thing that I showed you before, go into the free section, type in the keyword that you're looking for. Um, and then of course, if you're looking for images, video and whatnot, you get to choose that, right? And then um, what we're going to do there, let, let me do it one more time, go to free and then couple dancing, and then you can type in anything that you want. And then you can even get uh, videos if you're doing things like Premiere Pro or After Effects, you get access to what, 230 uh, free videos if you're searching for couple dancing, for example, right? But I'm looking for images to begin with. And I'm looking for photos, no illustrations for now. And I don't really need transparent. I am good with, um, I don't know, maybe square pictures. Uh, that's all good. Or maybe let's just do horizontal. This one looks a bit more horizontal to me. So let's just do horizontal. 
I need a bit more depth of field. I need some blurry background out there. Of course, I need to include people, otherwise how it's going to be couple dancing, right? <laughs> that makes sense. Um, and then I can do other things as well, like for example, if I can be specific about the pixels and megapixels and what should be the color, um, color gamut hues out there, those kind of stuff. Pretty happy with um, this first picture um, that I get here. I can click on this. I can even do some, um, um, you know, lightweight editing on the fly to see how my picture is going to look like. For example, do you want to resize an image? Um, I can do that. Or do you want to just remove the background? I can license and download and I, it's just going to remove the background for me on the fly um, out there. And it's powered by Photoshop, of course. But it's, it's all inbuilt in Adobe Stock to begin with, right? And I can see other similar results as well. Maybe I don't really like this, but I want the same model um, in, di in a different picture. Maybe something like this, for instance, right? So I can, do, I can find similar results out there. And then what I'm going to do here, um, I'm just gonna go back one once and then click on that picture one more time. And I'm gonna say license for free, right? How cool is that? And you can see that I am not signed in with any account that has a license. And I can, I can show you that um, by going back and clicking on the um, icon on the top right here. And then um, this is some dummy email that I'm using. This is not my email, by the way. It's, it's some dummy email that I use for demonstrations. And then you can see it says no plan. I just wanted to show you that it's literally free and I'm not really signed up and using any kind of plan to do to be able to do that. The same thing again, maybe I can choose another picture this time. Who cares? Because it's free. Um, and then I'm going to click on license and it's going to download that picture for me and it's going to be ready for me to use as a royalty free asset, right? In case you want to search for royalty free, what does that mean? It's a very important term, especially when you're um, using images from internet for your projects, right? So what I'm going to do here, of course, I'll go into um, downloads and I can see my pictures are ready that I've just downloaded, right? You can see them, full resolution, high resolution pictures. And then, you know, there are multiple ways of how I can use it in my Photoshop document. I can go through the library way or I can simply do a drag and drop and um, test my pictures that way, right? So let's just make it a little bit more bigger, something like this. And I'm going to place it OK, close it, save it, boom. And there you have your image in the, in the event um, card project in no time. So yeah, that's all from, from my side for today. Go ahead, go to stock.adobe.com, click on the free section um, and get go crazy with it. All right, that's all from my side. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your uh, friends or peers who can benefit from this information, and please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more such videos. Thank you. That's all from my end. Bye-bye.